Advice number one. Do not associate with negative people. If there's a single thing you should learn as a young person who wish to become rich and successful in life, that single thing should be never hang out with the pessimist. Unfortunately, our world is filled with the pessimists. So many people don't believe in themselves nor others. Hanging out with these people will only make you like them. So what's the way out? Be conscious of people you associate with. Disconnect yourself from people who are not ambitious, positive or optimistic. Your life in the nearest future is going to be a direct reflection of who your five closest friends are. Advice number two. Do it now. Do not procrastinate. So many people have ideas of what they need to do to change their lives. They wish to start a business, lose weight or read some good books. Almost everyone has dreams and aspirations. Unfortunately, most people will never take proactive actions towards their dreams because actions bring pains. So they procrastinate. If you really want to be successful in life, you have to learn how to face your fear and stop procrastinating. Remember, nothing will happen in your life until you start taking actions. You may be afraid of failure and that's fine. But think about this. If you don't get out, make mistakes and experience failures that will lead you to success, you will eventually fail, just like everyone who sits back. Number 3. Do not be scared to go against the tide. The natural human instinct make it seem that if everybody believes in something, such thing should be right. If everyone is doing certain things, that must be the right thing to do. Psychologists call this social proof. Unfortunately, the crowd is always wrong. Don't be scared to go against the tide. Don't be scared to say no to what everyone is saying yes to. Don't be scared to pursue your dreams even when everyone thinks you're stupid. The entire world thought the Wright brothers were stupid. They ridiculed Thomas Edison and criticized everyone who ever tried great things. They will expect you to be normal and do what everyone is doing. Don't be scared to go against the tide. Don't be afraid to fight for your dreams. Fight hard. Fight always. Number 4. Do not blame others for your failures. I learned something important when I was about 19 years old and that is taking responsibility for my life. From that time till now, I know that my life is up to me. What do you think will happen if you can take full responsibility for your life? First, you'll stop blaming anybody for your situation. Second, you'll waste less time on social media because you'll be busy trying to create your desired future. Third, you'll read more books because you'll be curious to know how people who have achieved success did it and how you can do it. Stop blaming other people for your failures. Take 100% responsibility. Know what you want and go for. Nobody is strong enough to stop you. Nobody. Number 5. Criticism is easier to take when you realize that the only people who aren't criticized are those who don't take risk. Albert Herbert wrote in his book, John North Willis, Do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing, and you will never be criticized. In other words, if you want to avoid criticism, do nothing and be nothing significant. If you're prepared to be successful, you have to be prepared to be criticized, underestimated and ridiculed. Most people simply won't believe in you, even your friends and family. Some will think you're crazy, others will think you are ignorant. Pay no attention to them because they don't understand. Number 6. Learn how to be optimistic in the face of challenges. You must have seen so many people who complain about everything. The economy, government, corporate America, even the weather. Most of the times, it's because these people expect life to be easy. 
and when they found out that it isn't, they look for who to blame. We are sorry, a significant part of your life is going to be difficult. You make mistakes, fail and probably get broke few times. How you manage periods of challenges will determine whether you're going to come out of tough times stronger or weaker. Remember what Robert Sherla said, tough times never last, but tough people do. Number 7. If you are interested in balancing work and pleasure, stop trying to balance them. Instead, make your work more pleasurable. We are all slaves of work and by that I mean we are all going to spend a significant part of our lives working. Because work is going to take a significant part of your life, you should strive hard to do what you love. Most people are happy on Fridays because it signifies the end of their long, boring and enduring week. You deserve a better life. You deserve to enjoy every day of the week. You deserve to enjoy your career and you can create a business or get a job you will truly love. Yes, it may take time and sacrifices, but if you approach it as tough as though your life depends on it, you'll get it. Number 8. Without passion, you don't have energy. Without energy, you have nothing. Passionate people sleep less, play less and work more. Not because they have to, but because they are passionate about what they are doing. Passionate people are the only people who can change the world. Think about Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Thomas Edison. These guys who could work several hours, sleep less and play less because their entire life are consumed by their passions. Passion gives you great strength. Strength is what you need to overcome life's challenges. Be passionate. Number 9. As long as you're going to be thinking anyway, think big. David D. Schwartz in his book, The Magic of Thinking Big, wrote, The mind is what the mind is fed. Your mind is not only what is fed, your life is what your mind is. In other words, if you use your mind to think small, your life will end up being small. If you use your mind to think big, it may take a lot of time and effort, but your life will end up being big. If this is true, why do we have too many people in the world who can't think big? The answer is very simple, because most people were born into poverty and average life. They grew up allowing their background to influence the size of their dreams. I was born by poor parents. How can I ever become a millionaire? To be rich, you need someone to help you. And I don't have anyone to help me. Government is bad. Only the rich are getting richer. The numbers of excuses you can make are unlimited. But there won't be one single reason not to be successful. To achieve great success with your life, you must stop thinking from the perspective of your background. You have to fix your eyes on who you want to be and not who you are or where. If your dream doesn't scare the average man on the street, your dream is small indeed. As long as you're going to think anyway, think big. Number 10. Opportunities are endless if you open your mind. Most people believe that it takes money to make money. Some believe that the rich have taken all the opportunities. That is definitely not true. The truth is that most people can't see opportunities because they don't believe it exists. You won't look for what you don't believe exists. You can't see what you're not looking for. If you believe that opportunity is everywhere, you'll look for it. If you look for opportunities, you'll find them. In summary, don't hang out with negative people. Don't procrastinate. Don't be a coward. Stand up and take proactive actions. Dream big. Endure criticism and tough times and don't blame others for your failures.